Hi, my name is Yasu from Japan, and in my video, I drink sake and getting drunk and then talking to myself in Japanese. It's called Hitorigoto, and then I introduce sake in both Japanese and English. And today, I'm drinking something special. It's called Arumasa Number no. Six Type X. This is the highest rank of Arumasa Number no. Six series. So. Uh, I'm gonna tell you how it tastes and everything at the end of this video But first of all, let me get drunk and then talking to myself doing the Hitorigoto So I went to see a uh, watch a movie uh, today uh, It was kind of it's been a long time and I watched a movie called uh, Blood Train the Brad Pitt was on the show and that's really based on the the novel written by the Japanese uh, writer. He's very famous for a lot of uh, novels and then also screenplays for a lot of uh, Japanese films and everything. So basically, movie is about um, a guy who has a re really bad luck. Uh, he has a lot of. It's kind of like the doing the dirty work for a lot of people. And then on behalf of the person who was originally assigned to a mission, uh, he got tasked and then go on a blood train in Japan in the movie and then trying to do his job. But whenever he gets involved with other people, his bad luck, bad luck kind of affects other you know people and then everybody's fate is kind of like messed up and everything. Uh, if you haven't watched that movie yet, I recommend uh, you to watch it because uh, it's very exciting and it's fun. It's an action movie, but there's just so many uh, parts of the movies that we can kind of laugh about it. And of course, the movie is you know uh, took place in Japan on the black tra train from Tokyo stations to Kyoto stations. But one of the thing was that um, there are a lot of scenes that kind of you know try to break the typical Japanese people's images uh, so for example like uh, in the movie the Brad Pitt was like you know trying to speak Japanese by the way his Japanese is good and then the way that he speaks Japanese is really really uh, cute no offense I don't mean it offensive but you know a lot of people like the way he talks Japanese for sure and then in the movie when he was you know saying something in Japanese and then bowed but that person he bowed to didn't bow him back and then you know he was saying that well I thought uh, Japanese people always bow and then I, I found it very funny unfortunately like um Nobody in the movie theater was laughing at it. I think I was the only one who was laughing at the scene. But, and there, also there is another scene that uh, the Brad Pitt was actually um, in the bathroom, you know, try to isolate, you know, himself from his enemies and everything. And there is a lady like, you know, um, keep like, um, bending the door of the bathroom and saying that oh I want to use the bathroom and then the Brad Pitt from the inside of the bathroom said oh I'm using it it's occupied it's not available but like the lady didn't really you know go away right away and so he was actually saying that oh I thought the Japanese people are nice and I was laughing at the thing as well because for me, it's really rare to see a movie that kind of try to break a typical uh, stereotype Japanese people's images. And then, from my opinion, you know, from my perspectives, it doesn't matter if people are Japanese or American or European or like Taiwanese, Chinese, Korean, or Vietnamese, Filipino, or Thai. If people are nice, they're nice. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter if they're Japanese or not. There are so many people who are not nice even though they're Japanese. And then there's just so many people who are nice even, you know, they're like, you know, 
from other countries. So I find it really funny and then very enjoyable that the, those scenes at the movie really try to break the typical Japanese people's stereotype images, which is really a good thing. So if you haven't watched the uh, the Blood, Tra Blood Train, the movie, I recommend you to watch it. And in this video is all about, you know, Japanese sake. So I've been drinking this sake. The name of sake is called Aromasa number no. 6, X type, type X. Um, produced by Aramasa Shuzo in Akita Prefectures. It's a very, very rare sake. Everybody loves uh, Aramasa, especially number six. And they're like type S, type R, and then this is type X. This is the highest number six ever. And it's a Jumai Shu. So if you watch it, no, 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 if you actually see this sake in uh, like a sake shop or like izakaya, I recommend you to try this one because it's so rare and it's so good. And then the smell is very aromasa like, you know, sour, clean smell. And the flavor is very, um, it's a sour, but so delicate very pure clean flavor it's really really good so if you ever seen aramasa x type i want you to try it because i really recommend this one but if there's any sake that you recommend please let me know because i want to try something new and if you're still watching this video and then somehow you feel that okay why don't I support Yasu. This is Yasu. Then please subscribe to my channel. If you do, I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, please take care. So for now, Jane, bye bye.